before leaving Victoria Station, Sir Samuel Hoare speaks to Patty Gazette. I'm going off again to Geneva to do what I can in the cause of peace. We all want to see a settlement. If we can have a settlement that is honourable to the League, Abyssinia and Italy. And that is what Mr. Eden and I are going to work for. The House of Commons has just risen for the general election, but England still remembers the man who nearly made the House of Commons rise higher than it ever did before. Here's the body. Preparing for the day when all England's bonfires will be ablaze, the nurses of the Aldersbrook Children's Home at Wanstead have built a 45-foot high pile for the special delight of the children and their friends. On the famous Heldenplatz of Vienna, the new Austrian army parades for the first time. The old militia has been revived under the direct control of Prince Starenberg, and now he watches the review with members of the government and military attaches of nearly every country in Europe. The historic flags and bugles of the old pre-war Austro-Hungarian army, which were put away in 1917 and have never since been used, are brought out again and presented to the commanders of the new army. <laughs> Here are the flags actually being handed over, among them some captured in the wars against Napoleon. Prince Starenberg takes the salute as the new mechanized army passes with tanks, armored cars and field guns that have only been constructed within the last few months. Watching too is Herr von Schuschnigg and Herr von Papen in full German military uniform. He has since been recalled to Germany. Men of the new Austria. After burning fiercely for 12 hours in the middle of the Liverpool docks, engineers have at last succeeded in scuttling the Spanish cargo boat Sabalbide by cutting holes in her with oxyacetylene apparatus. As the blazing ship filled with water, she sank on a level keel, and now she lies with her deck cargo still burning fiercely. Defying the raging heat, firemen have boarded her, finally subduing the blades, which, but for their prompt action, might have caused untold damage to Merseyside shipping. <laughs> 